What is up guys, TFG the Forest Guy. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday for your Wednesday. Guys, I'm about to head down the road to Charlotte, North Carolina. About to hook up this set right now. And I'm gonna take you guys along on my Wednesday night slash Thursday morning and see what we get into. Last night I went somewhere, I went to Florence and um, took a van down there and then picked up two trailers and took two trailers down there so we're gonna see what we get into tonight and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me all right so we're gonna hook up the 24 or that yeah 24 door uh, 24 is the one that's loaded so that's gonna be our lead and then the one in 22 that has the dolly in front of it you guys can see over there is going to be our rear this time so I can show you guys what all I'm doing because last night I realized that video was so dark and I was like man I have a I have a light for this GoPro but I always forget to use it uh, let me get my like it's done. Alright. So you're telling me that they ain't gonna say that this is full? That don't that don't look full? I think it's full. Can't fit nothing else in here. Especially, you know, so we don't have no rack. Shoot, half the racks on these trailers are tore off. Wait, they want to do what now again? Wait, wait, they want to do what now again? Originally, he told me to. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't have much on my second Jacksonville over there, so now, now all of a sudden they changed the plan and they want to get that shit over here. When I, when I originally said that like two hours ago. So what are they, they gonna, like? What are they gonna do? And now they well, okay, well, how the heck is all gonna go in here? Where's the logic in that? I mean, you can't, I mean, if we had bars, no, yeah. Always, the, the bars only go to about right there. They always do some last minute stuff. 
Oh, wait, wait, how many pieces is it? How many, how many pieces is it? Jared, how much, how much, how much is actually going on here? Uh, all the stuff on it. On what now? In there? Wow. <laughs> hey, Rob. Oh, boy. Rob. Are you kidding me? Hey, Rob. This ain't gonna fit on there. You tell me how this, you tell me how that's going, all this gonna fit on there. One, two, three, four, five, there's six pallets. Yo. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, so. They're having us put more freight on a trailer that's already full, so I really don't understand what the point of all that is, because it's not all even gonna go on there, so. I don't know. I really don't know what exactly what they're doing, but now I gotta sit here and wait for them to somehow stuff all that freight that you guys saw in that last clip on this trailer right here. So, yeah, makes perfect sense. All right, change of plans. gonna get 22 now and we're gonna get 28 so 28 is over here I said about these pups yesterday in my last video you gotta be easy with them they'll turn on a dime easily get away from you if you're not careful that's why you just go slow with it I'm in no rush Now we can take our dolly and hook it up to our lead trailer. Oh, let's see here. This thing is always a pain. There it goes. All right, let's back this up under that trailer. Sometimes get on there. All right. There 
Ja. I'm not going to turn those yet. When I push the uh, the trailer brake in, I'll come back here and turn those on to show you guys the airflow. All right, so that's good. Just double check this. Those are good. Those are good. That's good. Kick that one because last time I saw one. That... Oh, that's good. All right, let's roll this up. Swap. Let me swap gloves. turn these valves now y'all see that just what just happened right there what that did is these two locks it closes this and secures this dolly in place so it doesn't go nowhere you want to turn the emergency one so now it's secure after these two jaws pushed up against this right here this this helps to keep this secure so it doesn't go nowhere that's what you do when the air when you when you put the air supply to the rear trailer and we'll check this. Good there. Alrighty. We can roll out of here. Time to roll out of here. Get on down to Charlotte. Alright, so we're going to put our trailers in the system that I'm pulling. So we're pulling, uh, let's see, two, eight, one, nine, seven. So start route. Depart. Yes. 
directions. All right, so we're looking at about two hours and 20 minutes. All right, we're just coming out of the split. Right now. Man, I can't wait, y'all. I really can't wait till they get this done. Boy, they've been working on this construction through here forever now. It's gonna be nice if they're finally gonna be done with this. I don't know when they're gonna be done with this. This, this construction, I, I said it in the last video, the construction through here is ridiculous. This is why I hate going this way. If I didn't have to go this way, I wouldn't go this way, but it's just the faster way to go. But they have been working on this for, like I said, ever since I've been here, and it hasn't changed. Now, they got that construction down there on I-40 coming out of Raleigh that they're actually about to be done with. Actually looks good. Um, that is going to be done probably in the, in the next, shoot, probably next few months maybe that might be done. So that'll be cool that that'll be done. But this through here, the concrete barriers that y'all see and screwed up road back there and all the yeah I, that, I don't know when this is going to be done it, it's, it'll be nice once this is done because this is a headache alrighty y'all we have made it to the Charlotte terminal trailers at. See if I can find door five. Door five is over here. That's like 105. Door five. Yeah, buddy. There's door five right there. I wish they would freaking put that chalk up, man. I swear, these lazy ass people, man. You gotta put that chalk up there on the dock instead of freaking leaving it on the ground because then I gotta go out there and pick it up. All right. Gotta be easy with these damn pup trailers, man. They just turn up. Look at, see? I'm telling you, get away from you. It'll get away from you. These damn pup trailers will get away from you if you don't be careful with it. They turn on a dime and it'll take much to get it. It do not take much for these dang on pup trailers to turn on the dyno. Let me go out there and get that chalk bar run it over. All right, hold on one second. Let me get that dang on chalk. Now see, these people need to quit being lazy out here. They leave this chalk out here on the ground. Now see, look at this, y'all. I'm gonna run this over. See, I'm gonna run this over, man. Look at that. Boy, that's gonna be that's the day right there.
get these trailers. We're looking for 28 281877 282096. Let's go see if we can find this nice set. Let's see here. There it is, 1877. So as you guys will see, they already hooked these set up, so we don't even have to like mess around with just hooking it up. You just have to go through and check to make sure they did it right. Cause I don't trust these people here. I don't trust anybody. That's why you gotta make sure that you go back through and you double check to make sure that what they did was right because I know yesterday when I had a uh, when I before I left my two trailers that I had or the set I had going to Florence yesterday the dolly one of the uh, tires on the dolly wasn't even on the rim it was completely flat so again that's why you do your pre-trip and then on top of it that's why <clears throat> That's why you go back and you double check to make sure that they did it right. Because you don't want to drive down the road and have something happen. But anything can happen at any time. guys you know working the night shift like this yeah I could sit and sleep all day and when I go in and I start driving at night it's like the night kind of just swallows you up man just swallows you up it makes you so tired it just, it just drains you it drains you so much more than it is during the day because like I said you can sleep as much as you want and feel rested but man you still feel tired during the night <sighs> that's what I don't like about working nights it always makes me tired regardless of how much sleep I got because I mean I can sleep for like seven hours if I want to and then still go in and feel tired as hell but that's just what it does that is just what it does
Alrighty guys, that is the end of my day, which means that is the end of this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and y'all know who it is, TFG the Forest Guy, and I'll check back with you guys later.